my peeps, what a day I've had. I'm not even going to go into that. I'm just going to show you a little haul. Um, this haul is uh, a couple of things from the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Miss Su Ms. Susanie, for telling me about this. It's one of those little solar things, and it's got the little Pegasus unicorn that moves around. It's moving because I'm moving the thing, but if it were sitting on the table, it would be going back and forth with the sun on it. So I just loved that. I Something about that just made me real excited. She, um, Miss Susney was talking about it on her uh, channel a couple of days ago, so I was real fulfilled. I bought a few to find those. Okay, so that was just for fun. Um, so today <laughs> I went shopping for my mom's memorial. I bought um, the meat that I'm going to cook and I bought, you know, this and that. Um, party wear and stuff uh, from the party wear was from Tuesday morning I don't know if any of you guys have Tuesday mornings where you live but there it's a store with a bunch of high-end stuff that's been discounted um, they have great party supplies um, wonderful like home decorating things beautiful sheets and towels um, kind of fun garden stuff I mean it's really they've really got some neat stuff and if you can get it on super discount, you can get great deals. So, I have a bag of personal stuff, and then I've got a bag of stuff I did for the party. So, first I'm going to show you the personal. Grant got this um, uh, rocket launcher thing for his young grandson. And he says, oh, look! I think, I think my grandson's going to love that. And I thought, I told him, yeah, I don't know if your daughter's going to love it, though. You know, you could put somebody's eye out with this thing. So anyway, he's going to have fun playing with his grandson um, when he visits him this summer. Um, I found a three-pack of folders that are, are coloring. You color them in. Um, I gave two of them to my friend Margie, and I kept one for myself. I kept the one with the unicorns! Isn't that fun? And this has all sorts of weird stuff on it. Um, kitties and hearts and donuts and crowns and um, just all kinds of weird stuff. So I thought this was really, really neat. And I will color it in and keep something in it, I'm sure. We also got, I got this big pack of uh, Blossom Whispers is the name, napkins. And I was thinking I could do a decoupage piece of furniture with this. This would look really neat on a small chest of drawers or maybe a chair or something. I thought that was just beautiful. I love the kind of watercolor effect. So I got that for craft supplies. And it was about two bucks and the... The pack of three of the coloring um, folders, I think it was $2.50. I got these for $0.99 cents each. Um, I see these sometimes at Michael's or Joann's. I never buy them. But it's the alphabet stamps. And I've got some ideas for cards that I want to make. And these alphabet stamps will come in handy. They're just the right size. I have a lot of alphabet stamps already, but they're big. So I needed something small. So that's going to work great. Then, this is the thing we just really loved. Grant got, okay, well first let me show you mine. Okay, so I found this rose gold cantini insulated tumbler with this really nice, you know, Coolio mouthpiece thing that's beautifully um, sealed um, with a really nice O-ring seal. Easy to get in there and clean. And it has my initial C for Cheryl Coyote. I just loved that. I thought that was really neat. I love the rose gold color. And so Grant's looking around. He says, oh, he says, oh, I really love this one. It's stainless steel. It's not a color. I really love it. And I'm like, but Grant, it's got the letter A on it. <laughs> your, your initials have no A in them anywhere. He's like, oh, don't worry. He says, I can, I can get rid of that. No problem. I can take that off. So Grant's going to be removing this A, and this is going to be his stainless steel cup. So 
I thought that was cool. We don't have any of these. This is the this is the first set that we've had of this of this kind of big insulated tumbler thing. At least in a long time, we used to have some plastic ones, but I don't know what happened to them. So anyhow, that was our that was our personal stuff. Now let me show you the party wear. Oh, I just love the party wear. Okay, I got these plates. I got them in three colors: the bright blue, the bright green and then the bright pink. To go with those plates, I got these straws, um, the yellow and green, the purple, and the bright pink. I thought those were just lovely. We're serving um, teas and water and stuff in bottles, so for those of people who like to use a straw, I'm going to have those available. Then, um, as the napkins to go with all of this, I got these. I thought these were so beautiful. So they will go nicely with all of the colors that um, I'm doing. I'm doing for the memorial. Um, in addition to these items, I also have three drink tubs that I found at 99 cent store. That um, there's one in each of these colors. So I'll have the drinks tubs sitting on the floor, you know. Um, by where people are going to get their food and then these will be on the table with the silverware and the napkins and that sort of thing. So everything's going to kind of go together in this bright pastel um, color scheme. Um, I wanted to do something fun and happy because this is after all a celebration of life. Not just my mother's but we're also going to be remembering my father um, my aunt who recently passed, my cousin who recently passed, um, and you know a few other people in our family who we've lost over the past couple of years. So I felt like it would be a a nice um, appropriate way to say goodbye. Um, so that's what I'm doing so far. Um, I was having a good day. I'm right on schedule. I have pretty much every minute of my days um, you know, um, scheduled until after the lunch on Saturday, then I can finally relax. Only I came home today from shopping and I found my white sheep had died. My white sheep is 13 years old, was 13 years old. Um, she's up here on the hill behind us. Um, and I'm absolutely paralyzed. I don't know what to do. I don't have time to deal with it. I've got a lot of stuff I have to do tonight that's on my schedule that I have to do so that I'm ready to do stuff tomorrow. I have to take my son to school tomorrow and pick him up because Grant's using the truck tomorrow and he won't be here to deal with the sheep. Um, I'm, I just don't know what to do. I, I have a couple of options. I can call some friends who may or may not be able to come help. I don't know what they've got going on in their lives. Um, most of my neighbors around here who normally could have helped can't. Um, either they're, you know, not available or I've got one who's re recovering from surgery. I mean, it's just my normal help um, posse it just isn't, isn't available. Um, I can call the... Com the commodities place and they can come pick her up but that's like five hundred dollars to have some have your animal picked up and we we normally either bury them out on the big property or we do something with them that's appropriate an appropriate way to dispose of them but we don't normally have them drug off you know the property it's too dark it's too um dry out here now to give her a, a proper burial you know sheep's sh sheep she looks huge, but most of that's fur. The sheep itself is really not all that big. The size of a large dog, really, when you get right down just to its body. So, um, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe she'll just sit there for a while. I, I don't know. I think I need to sleep on it and let my, my brain unwind. And when I wake up in the morning, I will know what to do and who to call and how to deal with it. So anyway, um, yeah. I'm just a little stressed. Just a little. Um, so, I hope all you guys are doing well and your um, day or evening is going great and I will talk to you later. Bye!